has the famous book Al Kifaya or Al Akhund Al Khurasani, Rahmatullah Alaihi. This book of Usul is taught on uh, in the higher level in the Hawza before Bahd al Khash. It, it consists of an introduction that covers 13 topics like the definition of Al Mul Usul, Al Wada, Al Khazar, Al Insha, different topics. And then it has two parts. The first part it speaks about Mabahif al Alfar, studying the linguistic meaning. And the second part, it speaks about al-adilla al-aqliya, the intellectual practice. This important knowledge of al-akhund al-khurasani comes from the usul school of al-shaykh al-a'zam, al-shaykh al-ansari, rahmatullahi alayhi. It took al-akhund al-khurasani two years to finish his book at the end of his life in Najaf. Okay. It used to take the student up to six years to finish that level of usul, six years. So Al Akhund Al Khurasani wrote his book, Al Kifaya, to make it easier on the student to finish this level of usul. You can finish the book Al Kifaya in two to three years instead of six years, half the time. So it was a reformation movement during the time of Al Akhund Al Khurasani, and it was perfect for the people back then. But this was all done before the 1900 or after 1900 something uh, yeah after the 1900 in a few years and back then it was very beneficial for the student however today and after more than a hundred years students struggle in learning this book or studying this book Students in the house of today, they struggle when they study the book Al Kifaya for Al Akhun. Why? The book obviously is strong when it comes to the knowledge, but it was written in a very weak grammatical language. And it takes half of your time and energy to try to understand what he is saying. Right. It is very complicated in returning the Damir, whereas the Damir goes back to and, and so on. So you spend most of your time while trying to understand what he's saying due to the weak grammatical language that is used. Even in a lower level of Usul, the famous book is uh, Usul al mudaffar or Shaykh al mudaffar rahmatullah alayhi, he delivered some uh, incredible lectures in Najaf, and then they were collected in a book of Usul. However, it is not written in a very systematic order. It's a collection of collection of lectures. And it's not a prop written as a book. This is why a great scholar, such as the Shaykh Sayyid Muhammad Baqir al-Sadr, Rahmatullahi alayhi decided to write his three volume books of Usul, which is known as Al Halaq. This book achieved two important things. First, it, its content was written down in the format of a book and not based on lectures. People of intellect, they can know the difference, the big difference between lectures that are collected in a book and the book that is written to be a book. <laughs> big difference. That's number one. And number two, Sayyid al-Sadr rahmatullah alayhi, through this book, he made it easier for the student to finish usul and go straight to Bahtul Kharij. Instead of studying al mudaffar which is written in a very complicated way, and then al kifaya no, you can study al halaqa the three volume, and you will be qualified to go to Bahtul Unfortunately, some scholars stood and still stand against the, the change that Shahid al-Sadr rahmatullahi alayhi did. And some of them insist not to teach the book of Shahid al-Sadr. It was said to me by a high rank scholar in the Hausa once. They said to me, 
if you study the usul of al-sadr, it is like you didn't study usul. You have to study the usul of al-mudaffa and the usul of al-akhun in order for you to be qualified to that extent. And some of them, they have a political reason for not using the books of Shaykh al-Sadr, rahmatullahi alayhi.